What's good, folks? Now, I know you guys have seen that title. You done looked at that thumbnail, and I know some of y'all saying it's about time. Hey, listen, I'm not going to over-talk it. Listen, if you guys want to know how to make hot water cornbread, now you understand why I never made a video. It is super simple. Hey, so come on in here right here. So check it out. Look, we got cornmeal. Look, now this cornmeal right here, I like to use the extra fine, right? Not extra fine, you just want the fine side. I don't like to use the coarse, right? Super simple on the ingredients. Look, we got granulated sugar, and then we got salt. And if you want to know what the cornmeal look like, look, this is what everybody probably have in they, you know, inside of their cupboard anyway. And then we're going to use the vegetable oil. Listen, that's what we're going to fry. It. Now, I want you to pay attention right here. Hey, look, see this right here? Look, this is just a pot. I put hot water in here. Look, I'm boiling it and it's ready to go. Listen, let's read the title again. Hot water cornbread. Check it out. So break out your greens, your uh, black eyed peas and all of that. And let's get it. Okay, so you can see the steam coming out. Like you can see, we reached the boil, right? So I'll just go ahead and open that up. And that right there is what you want to have, right? Because this is hot water cornbread. I'm going to leave it like that. Now come on over here and take a look. Look, we got our cornmeal, then we got our salt and our sugar, right? I'm just going to go ahead and drop that in like that, right? Now, check it out. You got to get yourself a measuring cup. Because look, we're going to go put two cups of hot water inside of this right here. So now we're going to take this and we're just going to go ahead and add it now. That's what you want to see, right? Get yourself a whisk. Now we just want to whisk this, make sure we don't have no lumps. Look at how it thickens up right in front of you, right? That's what you want. Got my fire underneath. I take my thermometer, look, we want to check it. I'm going to check it in the center because don't forget the heat is concentrated right here, right? So we can look at it. Right now I want to see 375, that's 368. Okay, then I come over here to the edge because it's cast iron and he got to be evenly distributed, right? That's good for me. It's going to probably try to creep up just a little bit, but don't forget. Let me go and make my little adjustment now. Just went down just a little bit. That's key, 375, right? Now, look, I got myself a little pan. I sprayed it with some pan. Now you see my hand, I just took it like this just to make sure it's all nice, you know, and spread around and even because I'm going to make my patties first and put them there and then we don't want them to stick, right? So I'm going to come in here and get myself, uh, it's up to you. Whatever size you make these, you guys, you want to make sure they stay uniform, right? You just want to form yourself a patty, you know, like that and that'll do it, you know? It's up to you how cute you want to make them or whatever, but that right there is what I do. You know what I mean? You just want them to all be the same because I'm going to put them all in right at the same time, right? And then what I'm going to do is I just want to watch them so they can all be ready at the same time too. Okay, folks, so look, I got them all made. You know, I put them on here so they don't, you know, stick to my pan. I'll just go ahead and get this, slip this underneath it just to get it up off of the pan, you know? It's up to you guys, but for the video purposes, I just want to get them and then put them in just like that. That's what you want, folks. You see that right there? And then I want you to notice I'm pushing them, letting them get away from me so that they don't, you know, splatter on me. I'll just stick this in here, get a little space, move this one over a little bit, move that one over there just a little bit, just like you see. Okay, so you guys just see me take these out, right? And uh, look, in between that, I get a phone call, right? So my buddy just asked me, his name is Mike. What's good, Mike? Hey, he just asked me, like, what did I make? I tell him I just made some high water cornbread, right? We laugh and all of that. He asked me, did I make them over the top like I normally do? I said, the first time I make these videos, what I did was I just made them the way Granny used to make them because she didn't like it with all that stuff, right? But listen, I like to put in a fine grated onion in there and then, you know, like a little bit of onion powder or something like that, you know, like wake it up with a little pepper too. Then my buddy said, hey, you cruising on, check it out. He said, I'm cruising on making a hush puppy, a big flat hush puppy. And I said, you're right. Hey, Mike, you know you got it, man. Hey, listen, they from the South and they get out like that. Hey, so with that being said, listen, this is why I hadn't made this video because it's super simple, right? But you guys got to know, I don't want to break these open and do nothing like that because listen, this is part of a little set that I'm filming right now, right? So listen, this is how easy it is to make hot water cornbread. If you like it, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And then I'm going to tell you this right now, I'm going to give you guys a visual. These are going to get a little bit of that pot liquor. And you guys tell me if you know what that pot liquor is. Listen, that's why we don't want to break these up. I'm going to let each individual person break them up, dunk them, soak them, let them absorb that. 
and then we finna eat, folks. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, I got three more batches of these to make, and I'm about to get it. I'm out. Peace.